I'm going to talk garlic. We grow garlic in our backyard. This is a uh, hard neck type garlic, which is what you grow in Michigan. And uh, the deer don't eat it, bugs don't bother it, and we haven't had any issues with uh, pests or, or any other uh, type of diseases. Now, you do harvest three times a year. You get green garlic, you get garlic scapes, and then obviously the, the garlic bulbs. But uh, one thing that comes up is when you want to plant for the next season, you take the heads and you break them apart and you take the largest cloves to plant, and you end up, in this case, with about three pounds for us of uh, garlic that's a little too small to plant, but you don't want to leave it like this because it's not going to keep. Freezing it's the best way to to uh, to save it, but uh, if you don't peel it before you freeze it Then you're peeling frozen cloves, which is a real pain plus. There's just a lot of garlic to peel. I Have tried all sorts of ways to peel it the kids uh, are tired of peeling garlic and um, You know obviously there's a kind of a crushing or, or just you know, using your hands. I figured out a way to peel it super fast. It doesn't involve the bowls and shaking and all that. It basically involves compressed air. So if you have an air compressor, you almost certainly have one of these dust off tools, which basically you use for cleaning things off. And in this case, I just have a pancake compressor. I think it's a, let's see here, it's a 150 PSI, six gallons pretty small compressor, but uh, the first thing that I did was uh, I tried to just take the garlic and just to see whether it would work. Now uh, I would recommend using hearing protection. First thing I did was I just put the garlic in my hand like so and then tried, not, tried to keep it from flying off and did that. So as you can see, um, as you can see, it's already peeled two of the uh, the cloves here, and that took uh, what I don't know three seconds, okay? And then this one's this one's partially peeled, and then I said, well, let's try it in a yogurt container. Let's put some in here, and it's kind of a similar situation where uh, you put your hand over so you don't have. The, uh, the garlic flying out with compressed air. So that was that was more effective because uh, now if you put too many in here, if you put too many cloves of garlic, they don't move around. So you want to have just uh, oh just about this many uh, because then they can move around and the uh, the compressed air can get new cloves. If you have too many, then it just gets the one on the it only peels the ones on top. But uh, my uh, third one third attempt was to put it in put it in the colander and here again 